long as I say. Oh, wait, hold that down. Let me lock my car. Alright. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't do it. No. You guys again? Yeah. What time is it? Six o'clock. Okay. One more hour until I see the love of my life. Are you fair enough? Yeah, yeah. I heard all about the game you fought. Which game? The fight at the back end. Oh yeah, that game. Yeah, thanks. Uh, what time is it again? 6.05. Alright, cool. Thanks. Waiter. What happened to your hand? Oh, it's nothing. Wait, what happened? It's nothing. You're lying. It's because of the nose, huh? Must be a big lie. Um, I'm actually expecting someone. So, uh, when I give you the signal, do you think you can, uh, leave us alone? Yeah, okay then. I'll give you the signal. Uh, what time is it now? The quarter after six. Alright, cool, thanks. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Right. Thank you. One little word out of a thousand words I have. I'm gonna write her a letter. A letter that's written in the heart. Good. Waiter. Yeah. Uh, let me get a pen and paper, please. Here you go. Thanks. Ragnu, come here. I'll teach you how to write. My boy, please. I know how to write. Do you really? Yes, I do. Psst. Can we all go outside? I want to show you guys the car I drive. Psst. Hurry. Do you remember when we were kids and we would play in the garden and you would make your swords out of sticks? And your dolls with golden hair. And when you would hurt your hand, you would run to me and I would act like you're mother and say how could you do this to yourself by playing with the big boys in the back alley come here just, just like a wise mother while well, clean your hand tell me how many did you play with like a hundred tell me what happened well no you tell me what you came here to tell me seems like a long time ago i could tell you things like this i i love someone Someone who does not know, at least not yet. He's a brave man. He is proud, nice, young, brave, handsome. Handsome? Yeah, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's, it's my hand. I love him, but I only see him around. So you never talk to him? Only through our eyes. So why do you love him? I heard nice things from people about him. Then he must be a lucky guy. What's his name? Christian Resendez. For all you know, he could be a dumb or a or he'll treat you bad. He doesn't look dumb though. <laughs> what if he like throws you aside like how he throws his hair to the side? No, with those eyes. True. Just by looking at someone's eyes, you can tell a lot. What if he's a bungler? And then I die then. This is all you want you to tell me. Well, because I heard that people were scared of you and I thought you were so brave and invincible yesterday with the gang members that you can take care of him. So I'll protect your little hero. Really? Just for me? Because I've been a good friend? Of course. Will you be his friend? Sure. And never let him fight? I won't. Wow, you're a great person. I have to go. You never told me what happened yesterday. You must text me and tell me all about it. Okay. Man, I hope you're gang members. You know you're a great fan. Yeah. Thanks. You're a swim member, right? Yeah. What are those? Uh, these gentlemen right here. Bring the same air. They're famous. Fair enough. Captain. 
Would you be so kind to introduce these men to Kantagi? Sure. The members of the SWAT team, the defenders of the city of Angels, the best of the best. Man, poets are getting out of the grills today. I want to be your patron. Nah, man. You've been in a tragedy, right? Yeah. You should show it to my uncle, the Cardinal. Really? Yeah, he's only going to change a few parts. Nah, dude, I don't roll like that. Alright, forget you then. Cyrano, please sit down and tell us your story. Fine, fine. Show us a real fight for he, for here, this tadpole. Tadpole? Yes, you rookie. What? Listen here, don't talk about any certain objects around here. And that is... Look at me. Do you understand? Yeah, of course. We don't mention that word around here. He killed those who made fun of his. You know, any gesture about it would mean trouble. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Get out of my face. Captain. Yes. What do I do when you swap members get too cocky? Prove to them that you're courageous. Serious sir. Cyrano, tell us your story. Cabron, come over here. Oh, the story. Okay, well, it was night. I was alone. Not with that nose you were. Oh, uh, he's a new recruit. Uh, I believe his name is Christian Rosendi. Ah. Uh, See. Well, like I was saying, uh, I couldn't see my rounds because because of that nose. Because of the smoke grenade, I couldn't see. But after it cleared out, I went ham. If it wasn't for my lucky nose, all right. You know what? Everyone out. Get out of here. At least he's back. Cristiano. Sir? You're really courageous. Oh, that. You're really brave. I like that. That's a pretty good mean. <laughs> Don't you know? Know what? I'm her brother. Who? Roxanne. You? Well, more like a cousin. She told you? Everything. Does she love me? Uh, maybe. Uh, I am honored to meet you. Uh, sorry for the insults. Why, you are handsome. No, please, I apologize. She expects a letter. From me? No. I, I, I can't write. I'm a fool. Not the way you insulted me. It doesn't sound like you're a fool. Anyone can do that, but when it comes to women, I can't write. I have an idea. I'm a poet, right? I can write you a letter. You will? I don't know. She will not know it's you. I'll make her fall in love with you. Alright, thanks my friend. Oh, <laughs> 